Hello everyone, my name is Ivy and you're watching Plan with Ivy. Today I'm going to be doing a sticker organization video which was suggested by Courtney Plans and it's something I've never actually done on this channel before so thank you Courtney for suggesting it. If you have a video suggestion just leave it a comment down below. But as you can see right here I have a lot of stickers and washi out. Last night I filmed my plan with me and honestly I was really tired so I didn't even think about putting anything away. So what I'm going to show you guys is how I get it together and put away all my stickers and washi after I finish planning and basically show you how I keep my stickers and my washi tape together. So we're actually going to start off with my icon stickers and all these little things I use. I have like munchkin stickers from What's More With Love, the Moe stickers, Fox and Cactus Girls, other small icon sheets like this one for Glam Planner and this from Sugar Prince Co. So I'm going to first show you guys how I store this. So I keep all of these stickers in this little full album that I got from Michaels that is the perfect size for holding a lot of these stickers. A lot of planner girls actually use a full album to hold their smaller stickers so I got on the trend and just did it. So as I flip through and put these stickers back I'll tell you how I kind of organize this. So first up we have my cleaning stickers. I just put them there because they were the first stickers when I started organizing. But also it's kind of like motivation to like actually clean a little bit more. It's kind of been helping. Kind of. And then on the other side of this I also have like cleaning me. So like washing my hair and brushing my teeth. I put those on the other side. So like cleaning rooms, cleaning your body, stuff like that. And this is... This over here is things with friends. Let me just zoom you guys in a little, in a bit more. So these are things with friends. I have like lunch date stickers here from Coffee Monsters Co. These movie night stickers from Glam Planner. And then I have nothing on the other side right now. And then I have writing stickers. So this just has like all my pencil stickers and like some doodling stickers from Once More With Love. And then on the other side, I have crafting stuff. And right now, all you have is these stickers from Coffee Monsters Co., which feature the emoji crafting. I will be adding more to this section, but this is all I have right now. And then we have my camera stickers. This side is all for filming cameras. So anything that I use for filming, like my DSLR, DSLR camera and some actual camcorder stickers from Coffee from Odd Loop, I keep those all in here. And then I keep like actual picture taking stickers in here, like actual pictures. So I have regular cameras. I also have this teeny taking a picture sticker and some other Odd Loop camera icons. And then we have some more relaxing stickers. So like for lazy days and that sort of thing, I have like my relaxation sticker. So we have like Painting nails, we have like spa day stickers, we have bath time stickers, all that sort of stuff, and also some other fun things. Actually, I'm gonna move this to another section. Yeah, I'm gonna move this one to another section actually, which I think is right behind it. Yes. So, this is where I keep all my fun time stickers. Like the other day is like this side is like relaxing stuff, this side is fun stuff. So I also keep my heart icons here as well, but this is like fun stuff for me. Like teenies having a Disney day, pool days, cookouts, Disney, having some fun time by myself, mermaids, uh, gambling, all that kind of fun stuff. I keep behind the relaxing stuff. And then we just have some sleepy time stickers and then some real lazy day stickers like these stickers from What's More Love that say like, today is cancelled or I'm not doing anything, nothing has been done, those sorts of things. Then on the other side I have my planning stickers and I'm going to put these two sheets back. So I have like planner stickers and these plan font stickers and I have some other planner stickers that I got from other shops in here. And then I have anything dealing with like planning for school behind it. 
So if I'm like studying or stuff like that, all those type of stickers go here. And then I have some reading stickers on the other side of that from multiple shops as well. I have more school stickers behind that that more so deal with like classroom stuff, like if I have tests or if I have homework due, more so, or class times, more so those stickers go over here. And then I have like true adulting stickers over here. So this is like going shopping and buying stuff that I need like groceries or therapy, stuff like that. And then on the other side is more so work related. So I have like meeting stickers, my coffee stickers, work font stickers, and alarm clocks where if I actually need to get up for something, I keep those here. Then we have workout stickers. And then we have my emotion stickers. Like anything dealing with emotions, I keep here. So these are more so my happy emotion stickers on this side. And then we have more negative emotions like frustration, anxiety, sadness, stuff on this side. And then we have laptop stickers because I use my laptop a lot. So I have a large variety of laptop stickers which I keep right here. And then any other technology that I use, I keep on this side. So that includes like my phone, TVs, stuff like that. I'll keep all that on this side. And then this side is just like random sampler stickers that I've gotten from multiple shops. And then I have this little motivational sticker sheet from Coffee Monsters Co. that comes with a lot of different stickers and I didn't think it would go in just one category so I put it behind the random section here. And then I have food stickers. Here is mostly stuff dealing with eating. So like eating healthy, tea time stickers, Chipotle stickers, Chinese takeout. And also my ramen noodle stickers that I will put back right now. And then anything dealing with preparing food like cooking and baking and meal prep, I put that here. And then we go into like my less frequently used stickers, thank god. So we have like sickness stickers like if I get sick or something. And then like anything dealing with bodily sickness like getting my period or like uh, migraines, stuff like that, I keep this on this side. These are things that happen in the future, like I have my graduation stickers that I can't wait to start using. And then also I have some birthday stickers in here that, and my birthday just passed so now it's another future event. And then anything dealing with happy mail I keep here, like Amazon stickers and happy mail stickers and mailing stickers. And then traveling because I don't do traveling that often so I just keep those stickers dealing with that here. And then like far off things that I probably will not use for a while like these couple stickers from the Glam Planner because I am a single Pringle right now. And then we also have some wedding stickers. I don't know anybody who's getting married anytime soon. No need to use them. And also this Father's, this Father's Day sheet of teeny stickers that I won't be using very often. Even though I do do some stuff for my dad sometimes. But still. So that is how I organize all of my character and icon stickers. Next we have this huge case where I keep more of my Michael's spot stickers and washi. First we have this, I will move this first. First we have this little container where I keep some of my extra washi. Mostly these are one that came in tubes, so I wanted to get rid of the tubes, so I put them in here. This is actually where all this washi goes, but since I'm still currently in this week, I'm not going to put them back yet because I'm still using them. I don't want to keep putting them back just so I take them out like a few minutes later. So these are staying out for now. But this is usually where their home is. You can kind of see I also have like my rose gold washi in there and this other fitness roll that I have and this foodie roll that I have. It's all in here. So that's where these guys reside. And then right now this thing is pretty much a mess. As I said, I just did a no Etsy kit spread, so no Etsy kit. I really dig into my Michael stickers just to go with the theme of it. So here are actually the packs of stickers that I used for that plan with me. I'm going to keep those out because I'm still using those kits. 
these this is one of my journaling cards I have a lot more in here and actually these are some things that my best friend got me for my birthday because she knows I'm a planner girl so she actually got me a Fibro Castell pen some recollection stickers this important whiteout sort of tape and a tube of black washi so I love these things thank you Abby I'm just keeping those in here for now and here are all the journaling cards that I used for my Instagram posts if you follow me on Instagram then you know I usually have these little inspirational cards featured with my planner so I have like all these in the background some of them are just blank background stickers some of them have quotes on them so I just pair them while I'm doing Instagram posts and I just keep all of those in here just because it's more manageable that way these are some miscellaneous functional stickers that usually come in happy planner books I keep them I tore them out of their original books and I just keep them all together so I can just flip through all the colors that I have makes it a lot easier for me and I have two more rolls of washi that I did not take out because I don't have anywhere else to put them so I'm just keep them in their tubes because it's a little bit more manageable and then as I said it's a huge mess in here this is some clear tape that I sometimes use when my washi isn't sticky enough so I just keep that in here with these things this is the pen that I use to write in my planner this is a Energel liquid gel ink pen from Pentel in point five I really like how thin the point is and I love the feel and I like how it writes it's very smooth I also have a large array of paper clips that you guys may have seen if you follow me on Instagram as well if you don't follow me on Instagram you should totally do that my Instagram is at the real Ivy just like how you spell my name on this channel so I have all my little paper clips that I use for my Instagram posts in here just a lot of them in an array of colors and then I have some more Michael stickers here these are all the things that came in little packs I have some things I use for the like a boss kit some things that I've used for no Etsy sticker challenges like this kit right here and some other black and gold stickers and mint and gold stickers I just keep those all in here I actually need to find a binder clip so I can keep them all together better and then we have these Aaron Condren stickers which I haven't used yet I'm actually going to use them for a monthly spread if you guys want to see me do another monthly spread plan with me, let me know and comment down below. And here are some emoji stickers that I picked up that I really like. I got these from Paper Source. And here is where I keep all of my Happy Planner sticker books. And I actually have some new ones in here that I will be hauling soon. So I'm not going to show them to you yet, but this is where I keep all of them. And so yeah, that's everything that's in here. I'm going to quickly try to put this back together the way I like it. There we go, a lot more organized than it was before. And that is how I keep this certain bit of my sticker storage. And then finally, we got Big Mama. This was the very first piece of sticker organization that I got. And this is where I mainly keep most of my stickers that I get from Etsy and also a majority of my washi. So it is a plastic case. It's been very good to me over the years. Let me try properly open this for you guys doesn't want to open okay so right now it is a mess I apologize I didn't know I would have company but I keep everything in paper clips and these little binder clips which makes it easier for me and so this stack actually right here is leftovers this is where I keep all my leftover stickers from Planet of Me's like if you've been here for a while you'll actually recognize some of these sheets 
If you can name some of these Plan With Me's that I've actually done and comment down below, I would be really impressed. Because all these do have a Plan With Me that go with them. So, if you can name that, I would be really impressed. But this is where I put all my leftover Etsy stickers and I do a lot of leftover sticker spreads. So I like keeping them together just like that. And this right here is where I keep all my sidebar stickers. So I'm just going to put these ones back. But I have like header stickers and habit trackers and weekly sidebar stickers. Just so I can use these. I keep these in a paper clip as well. In a binder clip as well. And then we have all my decorative stickers. Like just sheets of decorative stickers that I have. Left over from kits. Or just in general like this Disney Zoom Zoom sticker sheet from Pray Sheepy. And some other ones from like Recollections and the Happy Planner sticker books. A lot of these are down to like their last few stickers but I still haven't used them that. And also my Marvel stickers. I keep them here as well. Next we have all the other icon stickers that are not very small. So like this huge sheet of pencil stickers, I can't keep those in my little photo album, so I keep them here in this little binder clip. It isn't that many, but these are too big to put in my little photo album, so I keep them in here. And then we also have some functional school stickers that I actually don't use anymore. I would totally love to do a giveaway and just give these away so you guys can use them because you'll probably get more use of them out of me because they're just not my style anymore. And then we have all of my glitter headers. Some of these are left over from spreads, as you can see. If you could name that plan with me, I'd be really impressed. But I have a lot of leftovers. And a lot of my Whimsical Plans ones, I just got some new ones that you'll be seeing in an upcoming haul, but they'll just be seen with these. And then I also keep all of my like label stickers and flags out just because I don't really have a paper clip for them but they usually stay near the bottom of this and then we have all of my headers from like love for stickers in Libby and Co I'm not using these as often so again I may do a giveaway for you guys just because I'm not using these and I know my mom won't use these either because she doesn't actually really use that many stickers in her planning style so if you're interested in a giveaway, let me know. And then we also have some checklist stickers. Again, possible giveaway items just because I'm not using them that often. And then some really big sticker sheets that I got from Michaels and another clear tape thing. And this note that I got from one of the sticker shops that I've purchased from. And also something else that resides in this little box is my upcoming spreads like these are full kits that I have that I use in my plan with me's and so if you kind of take a look you can actually see some of the plan with me's that are upcoming on my channel I'm not gonna spoil too much for you guys but if you're interested in seeing these stickers if you're interested in seeing these plan with me's come to life subscribe to my channel and then finally the holy grail of washi this is where I keep all the rest of my washi that I've gotten from Michaels and Etsy and multiple shops. And I've actually done a full washi collection video. I will link it in the iCard above. So I already have a video on this if you want like a tour of my washi. But that, that. And so I'm going to put back these stickers that I've laid to the side in the way that I like it. And I usually organize them in least used to most used so the things I use the least go on the bottom so that's why my checklist and my headers are down there and also these school stickers and then I got these appointment labels and stuff I put here the rest of my icons are here some decorative stickers my sidebar stickers and some of my kids come with sidebars but I still keep these and then we have all my leftover stickers. I pull these out often for Plan With Me's just so I can get rid of them. And then finally, my up and coming spreads. Keep that at the top right there. And that is how I keep this 
piece of my sticker organization. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're wondering where these stickers from my last Plant With Me are going, they're actually going to have a little home in the back of my Erin Condren and the little pocket that comes with the Erin Condren just because I'm still using these so I don't want to like actually go and reach them through all the sticker organization that I just reorganized. So I'm going to keep them in the back of my Erin Condren for now and you can see You'll see that these do get used very often throughout the week now that I've changed my playing style again. I do change my playing style very often, but that's my planner piece. That may not be yours, but it's mine. But if you have enjoyed this sticker organization video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below what part of my sticker organization you may start using for yours. And if you really got inspired by this video, just don't forget to share it with a planner girlfriend or anybody else you know who plans just so we can see if we get more members for the Ivy League. We are now 214 strong. That makes me really happy. So just let me know in a comment down below if you are subscribed to this channel or if you have been for a while. If you know any of those plan with me's that I've used those stickers for, let me know in a comment down below because I will be really impressed. And if you have any other video suggestions, also let me know in a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? And if you haven't been properly introduced to me, my name is Ivy. I do a lot of planner videos on this channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of organization on this channel and just making things a little bit prettier so you can make your life a little bit easier. So if you're really interested in that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a video and so you officially become part of the Ivy League. But until next time, this has been Ivy. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye!